hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today's video is quite special because we have a guest on this channel yep we do have a guest and i'm excited for her to show you her ways the way she does her makeup just so you guys can have a different look into how others do their makeup i'm sure you will learn something new from her i'll let her do the talking and also introduce herself so with this collaboration i was really really inspired by um a collaboration i saw on youtube with a lot of influencers nikki tutorials james charles patrick star a lot so they literally tossed each step of the product to the next person to do and i thought it would be great because this would be a great way to show you how my guest does hair maybe brows yeah and then how she does hair contouring and highlighting and then i can show her audience how i do my highlights my contour so basically that so the, the steps you miss me doing she'll be doing them on here and then i will be doing the same thing on her channel that was a lot so yeah let's just get into it hi guys i am ufida so today is an exciting video i'm doing a full face of fenty beauty well almost the full face of fenty beauty i just have about three products missing from it otherwise it would have been a full face but these are otherwise my favorite products from fenty only because i've tried them and i love them jessica i'm really excited like she's goals she's actually goals anyways i want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's just get right into it getting into it i'm going to be priming my skin with the fenty beauty pro filter primer this is the soft matte version i really do like this primer and if you watch my last video i've started like priming with a brush because you know it's a little less messier and it still does the job so let's talk i discovered her a little over two years ago i think it was her birthday and um she people were posting her pictures and it was this amazing picture in a robe i think and she looked amazing and what caught my eye was her skin her complexion she is like a really pretty dark girl like she's so so pretty and like i was amazed it's like where have i been like where have i been i've literally been at the rocks because i hadn't seen her or seen her content um before that time so as soon as i discovered her i went ahead to follow her and i you know of course i was stalking her page like you know i went through her page she had amazing content so i was like yeah this is like a follow like a, a, a follow that's worth it because yeah i'm going to learn a lot from her i'm going to get a lot of information from her i'm going to have a lot of entertainment from her because she posts like really really good quality content so i'm just going to go ahead and do my base which is the foundation and my eyebrow So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm just going to pass the concealer to Mufida to continue with the process and talk about herself as well. Hey y'all, take it. Thanks for the concealer, Jess. I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant AG1 Concealer in the shade Tan. I, ha I do not own a Fenty concealer, so I'm going to be concealing with this one. The Fenty Beauty um, foundation is not so full coverage, so 
this is going to help with the coverage that I need I have a lot of blemishes on my skin so yeah I'm just blending my concealer with um, the real techniques um, contour brush being an influencer it's kind of like being an entrepreneur because for the most part we are our own managers we are our own editors we are our own photographers we are our own secretaries it is so not easy so if you are an influencer and you manage to own a business and thrive at owning a, owning a business it is like hands down really stressful and i definitely applaud anyone who does that being an influencer is so not easy in it's not easy everywhere being an influencer and um especially in the ghanaian industry because some people do not know the essence of influencers some people think it's like fun and games being an influencer some people do not know the worth of influencers or how much influencers can you know um effect or improve your business or even destroy your business some people really don't and it's definitely hard because if a brand comes to you you have to explain your worth to them it's like i'm blending my concealer with the so aesthetics um beauty blender so like i was saying being an influencer is more or less like being an entrepreneur so imagine having to double being an entrepreneur being an influencer it's not easy so kudos to you jess so yeah like i was saying i've also had my fair share of difficult situations i don't consider myself an influencer first of all i just feel like i'm probably i'm a makeup enthusiast i'm a skincare enthusiast i'm a youtuber i finally come to accept that and it's not easy you know um in my part i am muslim i'm ghanaian and it's also not easy being in my shoes because believe it or not you might think that some ghanaian brands or some brands are quite you know um open-minded about religion and stuff like that but i feel like they haven't gotten to that stage yet i'm doing my highlighting with the maybelline um instant age rewind in the shade sand sable i'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender so like i was saying i've also had my fair share of difficult issues you know and i said i did i do not consider myself being an influencer being in my shoes i'm muslim which definitely hasn't made it easy <laughs> in this industry because as amazing as some ghanaian brands or other brands are let me not you know close it to just ghanaian brands but as amazing as some brands are that's how close-minded some brands are as well about you know my position if like you're talking to a brand they can go ahead and like just put you in a box and say um because you're muslim can you do this can you do that like yeah it's good to ask so that you know especially like you know because of this halal and everything like there are some restrictions you know being a muslim and stuff but i feel like if you if you're a brand and you can like invest and do research about your brand and all that i feel like you should also you know do research and invest in the kind of people that you know you're trying to reach out to because 
it definitely hurts when a brand reaches out to you and they seem a little reluctant because they realize that you're a muslim or they ask you and they it's just some way i really cannot go into details because i've had some experiences with some brands and you know it's definitely not easy and um also being a Ghanaian influencer living in africa hasn't made it easy for us you know because we have a lot of competition and it's not easy to get brands from outside to come and work with you because you're not there maybe you do not you do not like have the kind of geographics that um they want like there are so many challenges so if you are an influencer and you're able to reach such heights and are able to overcome all the challenges like kudos like because it is not easy i didn't know that it was going to be this hard when i was getting into it and of course i didn't get into it to like reach out to brands i only got into it because it's fun to teach it's fun to do makeup i love makeup i love skincare that's why i got into it but eventually you keep investing and you want to get some form of reward for for it you know so sometimes it's it's difficult it's not easy at all it's really not so i'm going in to set my concealer with the fenty beauty setting powder and the shade honey okay so i bought this powder and i put it down in my you know um makeup collection and i went ahead to use it after a very long time of having it and i actually fell in love with it because of the undertone it's quite golden and it's really really beautiful and on top of it it smells very very nice and you know i just love using it for everyday makeup because it's um you know just sets and melts into my skin i bought it in the sample size or the travel size and i saw that jessica had posted it um on her instagram talking about how she didn't really like the powder and i remember i went ahead to comment and i told her like it takes a while to fall in love with products you know sometimes because you have to use it a bit um before you realize how much it works or how it works with your skin type or how it works or falls in with your makeup routine so yeah it takes a while for some products to work so when you purchase a product you need to wait a while use it see how it works and then see how to fit it in your routine yeah so especially when i got the nas soft matte foundation i didn't really like it because it was a little patchy and um i honestly got that um foundation because jessica was using the nas um complete nas radiance long wear and she was raving about that foundation i remember that was the first time i saw like a ghanaian um youtuber using it i was like okay i'd love this but i don't like the word radiance in it i don't like anything with radiance because my skin is quite oily and i don't like the shiny shiny look honestly i really like looking matte because my skin will end up looking shiny at the end of the day so i'll just want it to look a little matte before it ends up looking shiny so i didn't get the radiance i waited and then the nas soft matte complete came and i was dying to have my hands on it and i went ahead to purchase it and i used it at first i didn't like it only because it didn't fall into my routine right i do powder before foundation and that that foundation does not really like powder before foundation so I, it took me a while to realize that using it after my primer works best with it so i realized how it worked and now i love that foundation so if you get a product you need to wait it out see how it will force into your routine don't hate a product as soon as you start using it use it once twice three times and you're eventually going to fall in love with it or hate it but do not hate a foundation or any makeup products when you just try it out at the first time anyways i feel like i'm talking too much i'm gonna go off camera to do my brows i have a detailed brow tutorial on my channel 
okay guys so i'm back from doing my brows i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to try the glossy eyelid today i've never ever tried it before so this is going to be interesting so i'm gonna go into my eye makeup i'm using two bronzers today i'm using um the fenty beauty sun stalker bronzer in the shades coconutty and mocha mommy so i'm gonna go ahead and put coconutty into my crease because it's you know a little close to my skin tone so it's going to be a very very good transition color so i know this video has been all over the place and i'm basically rambling about a bunch of things i'm not so good at multitasking but hey i hope i'm making sense so i was talking about the difficulties of being in an influencer a youtuber especially here in africa ghana you know but you know regardless of whatever the difficulties are i think that if you want to do something you should go ahead and do it because if you're passionate about something you are going to win at it like if you're passionate it means you're going to put in the work you're going to put in the dedication you're going to be consistent and once you are doing all these and of course you are you have god behind you you are going to win you know so i feel like regardless of whatever the difficulties are just put in the work be consistent work hard and then you would win of course by his grace so yeah i got a lot of you know negative comments when i said i wanted to you know go into youtube people are people were like oh my god it is so saturated oh my god like you're in africa how are you going to like you know win at this there are so many um influencers beauty influencers out there who are who are doing so much better than you who have a lot more exposure than you so like what is the point by the way doing eyeliner and talking is really not the best thing you can just stab your eye but i'm just doing this so i can apply my eyelashes on i don't want to put the gloss on my eyelid before going ahead to apply eyelashes i feel like it's going to be very messy so that's why i'm doing this people were seeing the Ghanaian um the beauty influencer you know um space is saturated it's negative it's toxic people were seeing all sorts of things but you know i love beauty i love makeup i love skincare I, i'm passionate about it i like to teach people the way i learned or the way i feel like it should be taught that is why i got into it in the first place and it's therapeutic for me and before i went viral like i'm so grateful to god i went viral this year no i mean last year from a video that i wasn't even confident about my skin was giving me hell and all that but that video did so well i got about seven hundred thousand plus views i made a bunch of money from it alhamdulillah i'm so grateful but you see it's not always what it is it's not always what it seems i feel like if you want to do something just go for it just go ahead and do it i'm going to apply my eyelashes off camera and i'm gonna be right back to continue so i'm going in with a random lip gloss a clear lip gloss from kekai cosmetics I'm sorry that I'm covering my eyelid. <laughs> I was supposed to show you guys how to do this and I'm messing this up. Okay, so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing now. I'm literally just passing this on my eyelid. I hope it looks good. I really hope it does because I don't know. I'm, I have mixed feelings about this. 
I'm going to go ahead and dust off the excess setting powder. I'm going to go ahead with the um, Mocha Mami. I'm just going to um, smoke my lower um, lash line out. I feel like this looks so much better. I'm gonna go all over my face with the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my skin with the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Coconutty. You can definitely see some of the discoloration speaking through on my skin. But that's okay. Now for blush, I'm gonna go back in with my Mocha Mami because it's an excellent blush. I don't know if you see this, but this is such a pretty blush. I really, really, really do like this. So I'm going to set my face with a Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. My brows look a little crazy. I'm allowing them to grow out because there's a story behind my brows. I filmed the vlog for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to apply mascara. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm beginning to like the glossy lid. I wasn't all about it, but right now I really do like it. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in the shade Cornac Candy. I For my lips today, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. I love this. I love what's going on on my face. In reality, I wouldn't do this, but I really, really do love this. So thank you so much for having me on your channel, Jess. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Even though this video was all over the place. I mean, I was rambling and just talking about endless things. But thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. So this is the final look that we created on both our channels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully we will be seeing Mofida on our channel very soon. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow on Instagram as well. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.